very good. I have to have one of those right here. <laughs> there it is. Now, who likes to watch movies? Yeah. yeah. Who likes to watch war movies? Yeah. We've seen The Patriot. Yeah. Now, The Patriot, if you notice, that last big battle, these men were walking across the battlefield in lines, kind of like you guys are sitting. And uh, the, uh, the enemy would fire guns that looked like this. When this would get to that line of the movies, what would you normally see? A big old what? Bowling ball. Explosion, right? Yeah. What you normally see in the movies because it's very spectacular. Yeah. So this is a six-pound projectile. Who wants to see how big an explosion a six-pounder can make? Anybody want to see that? Are you ready? Ooh. I love it. <laughs> yep. There it is. That's all you get. Okay. The fact that I'm still standing here, I think, suggests that this thing is not going off anytime soon. Is that true? That's true. Why not? Because it's just solid. Guns, that's right. Guns do not fire bombs. They fire round shot, which means six pounds of solid cast iron. So how does this actually work on the battlefield? I'll say this. It's at 1,200 yards of this gun. I don't care if this thing is rolling. Bounce and hit you right square in the mush. This will go through you at 1,200 yards like a hot knife through butter. Ooh. Okay. So let's talk about this. Let's say right now we fire this gun. We also like to fire and ricochet. That means we bounce the thing across the battlefield. When it's bouncing, it can go anywhere, and you might actually be able to see it coming better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get out of the way, though. Yeah. No, you can't get out of the way. So let's say right now this thing is bouncing across the battlefield towards you. And you in a second rank right there. How do you two feel about that? <laughs> Not that good, right? How do you guys feel that are standing really close to these two right here? So no. this thing is about 100 pounds of artillery with a 15-man crew at 20 seconds of loading time. Now, I think it costs a lot of money, and I just took out two guys with one shot. <laughs> <laughs> right. How impressive was that? Not. Who's not impressed? Raise your hands. <laughs> Let me tell you why you're going to be impressed. Guys, if this hits somebody in the arm, where'd the arm go? Oh. Oh. If it hits somebody in the head, where'd the head go? Oh. If it hit somebody right here, this didn't blow up, and guess what did? The person, <laughs> that person right there. <laughs> Guys, if you're standing within five or ten yards of these two people right here, you know that ball went through there because there's stuff flying around the battlefield that used to be those two people. <laughs> you get to see it fly by, or someone will actually hit you on the way by. Mm. How many guys did I take out? Uh -huh. two. two. How many guys are scared? About. A lot. What do people do when they're really scared? Like I keep firing at them. They run. run. They will leave, right? And what's victory for me? Making the enemy leave. Mm -hmm. When the enemy leaves the battlefield, I possess the battlefield. I win the battle. So I took out two guys. I scared a bunch more. Maybe you take off. <laughs> well, let me ask you guys a question. Are you guys good troops or not? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly the answer I was looking for, okay? Let's try that again. You guys good troops or not? Yes! yes. I made a hole in your line right there. What are you going to do about that? Fill it in. Fill it in. That's right. You're going to fill it in. What do you, then what are you going to do? You're just going to stand there and let me shoot you? What are you going to do? Well, once in a while, some women will actually help fire the gun. So that is my Molly pitcher. I need, uh, I need a fairly tall person to be my loader to work the other side of the gun at the front. All right, come on. I see you. Come on. I need somebody who's a little sharper than the average guy to make a fuse for me. I need a bombardier. All right, come on. You're going to be my bombardier. I need somebody to light the gun off. Oh, oh look at all the hands. Right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. So Nobody wants to do the work, but they want to be right, fired. You're trying really hard. Come on over here. I need somebody who's fast and run powder for me. Be my uh, runner. All right, I see you right there. Come on. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is my crew. How do they look so far? Yeah. Hoorah. <laughs> These guys don't have a clue. I need one more guy. I need a gun to yeah. stop me. You ought to get up there. You know how to do that. <laughs> Sergeant Major. <laughs> Natural philosophy. Who knows all three of those, really? How do you know? Ladies, can you yell? Yes. All right, try it again. This time, like you mean it. Gun, attention. That's better. Excellent. Keep bellies in, chest out, hands down by your side, looking forward, and everybody breathe. Do not pass out. Okay, Molly? Man the peace. Man the peace, they'll do a shark ride. Wow, that's the best ride about pace I've ever had for a Yeah! That was impressive. All right. Now, we need to get them closer to the gun. One more command. From right to left. Now everybody will step into the gun. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before we load it, we got to make sure it's clear. Take a look at this. Six-pound projectile, bag full of gunpowder. It's all held together by a wooden disc called a sabot. In the old days, they would actually have to ladle powder out of a barrel full of gunpowder, walk it over there and stick it in that. 
stick a wad in there so the ball didn't roll out, then put the ball in. But this does all that in one motion, which of course allows me to load the weapon a whole lot. Faster. Now the only problem with this is, is some of this stuff stays in the tube when you fire it. And after four or five shots, you're gonna end up debris in the breach that the next round will go far enough to get the fuse into it, and you will have a misfire. Mm. That's bad, isn't it? That's bad. We're gonna fix that. Every five shots, let's do this to make sure the big debris out. Search Pete. So the guy at the front left will take the wad hook, run it all the way back to the breach. Faster, Turn it clockwise man. two or three times, bring it back out. Now hopefully all the big trash out of the gun, but take a look at this. This is a sapo. It's a piece of wood. When you fire the gun, what splinters all over the place? Wood. Does it all come out of the gun? No. We're not quite sure, are we? No. It could be on fire. It could. Is that a great combination? It fire and gunpowder for the next round. <laughs> no. So after every shot, we need to make sure the fire is out. Let's start that process right now. Advanced sponge. So Molly will take the sponge, dip into a bucket of water, start it in the muzzle. Yeah, Molly! Woo! Molly has a fan club. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now have him take his finger off there for a second. Now, ladies and gentlemen, she's not going to sponge the piece yet because she's looking at the guy in the back. Back there is the vent hole. If it's open and she sponges the piece, what happens? Push a bunch of trash through the tube to the vent on the crew. When you bring the sponge back out, what do you suck it back into the tube? Air when you're trying to put out the fire. So there's a simple fix. Oh. Ten vent. So the guard to the right rear seals off the vent with a piece of leather on the thumb. Next command. Sponge piece. Now, Molly will sponge the piece from the muzzle to the breech. Go, Molly. <laughs> Go, Molly. Wow, did you hear that? It went boom at the end. <laughs> this is a good crew. Give Molly a round of applause. That was yeah! You might have to yell at Molly, so that took a little fun out of it for me, but hey, we're going to go with that, all right? Now the weapon is clear. It's time to load. Take a look at these. These are side boxes. Those side boxes are full of these. Now when the gun goes from place to place, those boxes are usually in a carriage. But who thinks it's a good idea to have two boxes full of these right next to that tube? Mm, okay. Not a good That's idea. Here, but I need to round down. Handle cartridge. So open up the side box, pull out a cartridge, put in the side pouch, run it up to the front of the gun, hand it off to the loader, run back to the side box. Yay! <laughs> All right. Now the loader has the cartridge. Let's get it in the gun. Next command. Charge piece. Loader turns around, sticks the cartridge in the muzzle. The muzzle's the burn of the tube. Where's the cartridge need to go? The back. Back to the breach. Let's put Molly back to work. Molly! Man, wait for the command. <laughs> command. Ram down cartridge. Yeah, working, <laughs> Molly, I appreciate your enthusiasm and all, but hey, all right? Wait for the command. <laughs> Molly's done. Bag full of powder sits underneath the vent hole. It's time to make my fuse. Prime. Good, right rear pulls out a pick, runs down through the vent hole. This bag full of powder is closed, but who just opened it up? He did. All right, now he's going to take a, a paper tube full of loose powder, bite off the end, spit it on the ground. Outstanding. Pours the powder down through the vent hole. Throws that away. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this thing is loaded. What's my next move? Light it. All right, who thinks we should light it? Yeah. Light who, it. Thinks, who thinks that's a bad idea? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, this thing recoils eight or ten feet. It weighs 1,400 pounds, and those two guys back there, even the big dude, doesn't weigh that much money. Uh, weighs that much poundage, I should say. So, do we need to get them out of the way? Yeah. yeah. And uh, how long is this supposed to take so far? About 20 seconds. How are we doing on time? Yeah, we're a little behind. Is the enemy still in front of your gun? Do you think we ought to check? The enemy is running. Let's do that next time. <laughs> take aim. It's so better take aim. These two guys will step out of the way. All right, come on, this way, gun captain. Take a look down the barrel. Uh, young lady, look this way. There you go. Go on that sword, give that final command. Fire! Boom! <laughs> ah! Very exciting. It went off. Look at him, sir. Look at him. Right to left track. Search me. Guys, you want to cover your ears? Now's the time. Fire! Ah, <laughs> oh, 
I 